Uh, today we're going to go through how to change the rechargeable battery on a Seiko um, solar watch. Um, one thing I have noticed about this one is the back is really really difficult to get off. Um, I've tried the usual uh, removal tools which are these two here. Um, they get the backs off all my other watches fine but it's absolutely not shifting this one. Uh, so I'm going to have to do something a little bit more dramatic. Uh, so I'm going to take you through those steps as well. Right, to get the back off this watch, the, the basic problem I've got is I can't get enough uh, torque, uh, turning power, to actually release these watches using other tools because they're digging into some fairly tight keys here. Um, so what I'm going to use is a good old fashioned spanner um, onto a great big nut. Um, so the first thing we need to do is um, to super glue the nut onto the back of the watch. So before we do that, uh, we have to degrease them both thoroughly. So I've got uh, just one of these little cleaning alcohol soaked um, wipes. And I'm going to use that to clean off the nut and the watch. Uh, both of these, uh, the nut is actually got quite a flat profile, that's quite important. Uh, so that when I mount it, there's going to be a good uh, good contact area between the two. Okay, so we first of all we need to degrease it and then obviously allow that to, to dry. Uh, if there's any sign of grease or uh, dirt on these, then obviously the super glue is not going to stick. Okay, so I've got a little tube of the super glue. Uh, these have been washed and dried. Uh, so, uh, as per the instructions uh, on the super glue, protect the working area. And then, if we just put a little bead of super glue round, take that away, and then we want to mount that nut. As central as we can just press it down a little bit and then leave it and let it cure I've left that to cure now overnight so that's on really tight um, obviously now you've got the option to use a uh, whacking great big spanner um, so I can get plenty of torque on there and obviously I need to hold the watch to counter the torque a um, couple of ways you can do it. You can either get hold of another set of spanners. Uh, if you can take the bracelet off, ideal. Uh, this one's a little bit fiddly, so I'm going to try and do it with the bracelet still on. Uh, if you are going to use something like these mole wrenches, make sure that you cover the ends up with uh, plenty of PVC insulation tape, because uh, obviously you don't want to damage the strap. Um, and even actually if you've just got plain um, smooth sided spanner to hold it again a little bit of tape on there um, will just prevent any damage to the watch um, if you've got a watch vice uh, that's great I don't have one uh, so actually I'm going to put this um, into a workmate that I've got outside um, and that will hold it against some uh, wood which is uh, quite nice because that won't scratch either okay so I'm going to just take this outside and we can get going on it I've mounted it in the vise and now for the moment of truth uh, I found an old 19mm spanner which should do this one and now I can just put a little bit of torque on that and there we go I've released it okay so now that's got the back off the watch obviously the next thing now is um, to remove the nut from the the watch okay so that's good at least that's worked right now we've removed the we released the the watch so the back now comes off of course the elephant in the room is that we've now got a great big nut um, super glue to the back but we do have access to the watch so I can now look at the battery and start changing the battery 
um, on this one. Obviously this is a solar powered watch so it's a little bit of an unusual rechargeable battery, not your standard ones. Okay, so we need to take to get the nut off the back of the uh, case. To do this we've got a gasket uh, on the watch so make sure we take that off first and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that into a little container uh, the smaller it is the better um, and then we need something to get rid of the super glue or at least to debond the super glue um, chemically they'll say it's acetone um, what that is in reality is just nail polish remover so I've poured a little bit into, predominantly into the centre of that nut. Uh, there's far more in there than you need, uh, but that'll do the job. Again, now it's just a question of a waiting game, so I'm going to leave that for a few hours. Uh, what I will do is I'll just put a little bit of cling film over the top of it, um, just so that the fumes don't evaporate off, but uh, it keeps all the acetone in. Right, it's been... Uh soaking for a few hours now. Uh, I've also put it on the radiator just to get it nice and warm. So I'm going to take it out. I've got to see if the acetone's done its job. So what I've got here is a, just a little watch knife. Let's just see if I can prise it in and prise the nut off. There we go. Right, the nut is off. There's a little bit of super glue there, which is still soft. I'm going to put that back in, and that will fairly soon dissolve. Now that we've got the back off the watch, the solar battery in here, um, it's a rechargeable battery, so it's not the normal coin cells. Uh, one feature of this battery is that it's um, held in by a um, little tab um, on a screw so what I need to do is use some ultra fine um, screwdrivers and you have to bear with me because I've got some magnifying glasses on and actually just get in there and release that screw so yeah, that is unscrewing, and once that's out, then we can replace the battery. Right, the screw's out. So it should now just be a question of lift the battery up. Take it out. It does have a tab on it as well. So there we go. Right, that's the old one out. And then I've got the new one. Let's go back in. Get that aligned. Back in with. That's it. Let's push down. And then it's just a question of replacing the screw.
Uhey, awesome. When I have that in, check. Yep, there's power to it. So I need to put the little washer thing back in. There is a dent just there where the um, the winder of the adjustment rod goes through so you know that's the right way that goes on then finally we need to just re-grease the o-ring or the gasket um, and then pop the case back back on right I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on the um, gasket uh, what I've done is I've soaked well, not soaked, I've just put a little bit of grease onto a cotton bud just to allow me to move it round. So I can get a little bit on the um, actual neoprene. And that will do for that. And then Flick it over and take it off the top where we don't want it and uh, time to put it back on. Right, we've greased the um, gasket. Uh, it is important that we do it with silicon grease. I forgot to mention that before. Uh, silicon grease doesn't rot neoprene whereas most other greases do. Uh, just need to offer that back up. And when it's in the right place, it will screw back on. Right, that's the back in its prep position. Then we just need to tighten it up. So screw that back on. I'll just give it a little tighten with the tool. Tighten that to just hand tight. What's interesting is now the Seiko is actually aligning. I was all for trouble getting it off, but the Seiko had actually been over tightened on that. That's the solar watch now with its new battery in. Um, so I'll flick it over. Uh, you can see the second hand is going round. Uh, obviously, the battery is not being charged uh, fully, um, they are supplied almost flat. So I'll put it into a little bit of sunlight and we're good to go. Right, as always, thank you for watching. And if you can like and subscribe, I would be much appreciated. Okay, thank you.